Logic 10.8 just released. Let's hop into it. All right, so as you can see, Logic 10.8 is updated on my Mac. We have a bunch of new features. We have the master assistant. Let's see how this stacks up with Ozone. You got the sample alchemy that was on the iPad before. You got the beat breaker. That's pretty dope. That was also on the iPad. You got the slip and the rotate tools. You also have 32-bit recording. Pretty dope. Also some new sound packs. You got the hybrid textures and you also have a vocal melody sound pack. Pretty awesome. Let's jump into Logic Pro with this project that I created and then we'll walk through all the features. All right, so I've created all of this using Logic Pro samples, except one thing that's the reverb on this particular channel from Kashmir. Everything else is from Logic Pro X. So let's go ahead and play this and then we'll actually master the track using the new mastering assistant in Logic Pro X. Cause don't nobody know what we've been through So it's all on me to be there for you At the end of the day, it's us two Girl, do you trust me? Baby, I trust you all right, so that was using everything from Logic Pro. These vocals are built into Logic Pro, which is great. Uh, also, I've used some pianos. That's from Piano Tech. So I lied. I used two plugins that are not stock plugins, but you can replace this with a Logic Piano. And then pretty much everything else is from Logic Pro. So let's go ahead and see what this new mastering button does. So all you have to do is pretty much select the part that you want it to look at. I'm going to choose pretty much this is the hook and this is where the melody comes in. So we're going to look at the master assistant first. Let's click this and then let it do its thing. And as soon as you open it, it's going to pretty much look at the highlighted section. Usually you want to do this with the hook part and then it's creating a master chain. All right, so we have a master chain. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. So you can see that there are different type of um, presets or characters that you want to give your mix. Then you have an EQ right here. You have the volume gain right here or how much you want those EQ changes to impact it. Then you have your loudness right here. You have a true peak. You have the LUFS. This is going to be set to usually negative 14 because that's what everyone uses for streaming. You have the width right here. You have the phase correlation right here. Again, you can AB your custom EQ with the EQ that it suggests. You can analyze the section again, bypass, and the loudness compensations. So this pretty much means it's going to do the effects and gain match it to the signal that's coming in. So you can really see what the plugin is doing. So let's just go ahead and reanalyze the section and then let's play this. And then we'll do an AB with the loudness compensation. Just don't nobody know what we've been through. So it's all on me to be there for you. At the end of the day, it's us two. Girl, do you trust me? All right, what this Excite does, it's going to add some saturation to the top end. So let's see what this does. Just don't nobody know what we've been through. So it's all on me to be there for you. At the end of the day, it's us two. Girl, do you trust me? Baby, I trust you. Just don't nobody know what we've been through. So it's all on me to be there for you. At the end of the day, it's us two. Girl, do you trust me? Baby, I trust you. So you can really hear the difference when I do the loudness compensation and then just don't nobody know what we've been through. So it's all on me to be there for you. At the end of the day, it's us. So this is what it was before. Just don't nobody know what we've been through. So it's all on me. And this is after. Just don't nobody know what we've been through. So it's all on me to be there for you. At the end of the day, it's us too. Girl, do you trust me? Baby, I trust you. All right, this is pretty great. I can see that if your track is pretty well mixed, you're going to get some amazing results out of this mastering assist. All right, let's look at the sample alchemy. Now, this is pretty much a sampler. I'm going to initialize it. So let's say recall default. This is what it is. I'm going to bring in the sample that's in key of B right here. Song is in F sharp major, so it should automatically tune it, which is great. It did. Now, what you can do is, let's say this is the original sample and you want to change it. And let's say you want to add some more synthesis. Let's say some more at. And let's see how the sound has changed. So that was the original. So 
so you can make your own samples and really make your own sound in here. So let's see this in context of the sound. Now you might be hearing this vocal underneath it. Let's see what that is. Now it's got this chop effect and that's from this plugin called Beat Breaker right here. Now it's pretty much like halftime Effectrix type of a plugin, but you don't really need a third party plugin now and you can really do a lot of cool things. So what I've set this one to is gate and repeat, but let's duplicate this and then kind of play around with it. So let's solo this up. We're gonna remove beat break and see what this. At the end of the day, it's us two, girl, do you trust me, baby, I trust. It's just a simple vocal. We're just gonna add the plugin again. We're gonna go to multi effects, beat breaker. At the end of the day, it's us two, girl, do you trust me, baby. Now let's go ahead and go through some presets here. Let's go to stutter and go to. Now that's pretty cool. Now what you can also do is now that you have this, you can go to the rotate tool and you can hit command and move this audio around a little bit. So it will pretty much kind of rotate throughout that area. And let's see what this does. Now let's play that in the context. Let's mute the original one we had. Now this is obviously useful when you're recording and you want to nudge timing of things as well. Let's say you have a guitar part that's just slightly off. You can nudge it around, but you can also use it creatively as well. I've also used that in the intro as well. So again, I've also used the rotate tool in addition to the beat breaker right here as well. So that's what that sounds like. And also for this guitar part, it's also using sample alchemy. So again, I'm using two different types of synthesis in the loop mode right here. I'm using first one is additive, and then the second one right here is also additive synthesis in a loop mode. So it's looping different parts of the same sample and creating a unique sound or a unique patch that's unique to my own sound. And nobody else can probably replicate this unless they copy the exact same results. So those are some of the new tools in Logic 10.8. You have the master assist, you have the sample alchemy, and then you also have the beat breaker tool right there. Now, these are some of the tools that normally people would pay a couple hundred bucks for, but these are free if you own Logic. If you don't own Logic, you can try a free demo. If you're a student, you can also get the whole package with Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro for around 200 bucks as well. Keep making dope music. I'll see you at the next one.